I wave us. So last few sessions we are showing. I am showing how to display the data using MVC and see the details view. How to bind the data in the table in the list format. So this is what our application we are developing. So I just want to show you how it's currently be running. So what are all the few sessions we discussed is very helpful to build our MVC application. So please go through my previous session to get a basic idea how to create a project, how to create a controller view model, how to talk with data using a entity framework code first approach. So this is my sample application that I'm creating to show you how to build the application, how to how to edit the records, how to insert the record, see the particular record in the table, and how to delete the record. So those options I'm going to show you all the things. In previous session, I show you the two set of things like how to select all records from the table how to see the single records this is actually my student controller in my student controller I have a set of tables set of table called student in that student I have some two records like Harun and Kumar in a student name if I want to see the particular details of Harun I will click this one and I can see I will go back to my list now what I going to do is I'm just planning to do my create operation so the details and a list view is done so next step I'm going to show you how to insert one record in table so actually if I click now I will get some error like a resource is not found because we didn't create any views for create so this is actually the view that default which we added in our layer okay you will go and see like where it is actually this is my index this is my action link create new this is my action in the same controller student so i don't have my action controller so what i going to do is i going to create my create action controller to insert my record into that table so I am using the method action result so that I will uh, retrieve sorry I return the action so this is my create action so I need a return return my view okay I don't have actually the view here in my student create so I'm planning to create my view as a strongly typed so that I can get my values with a strongly typed so what I going to do is I going to add my views I just select created as strongly typed I want model student so that my model is matched with my table so default same layout the template should be create so that I want to set of template format as create it means insert the data and just add my view now my view is getting loaded so I have my view I just say debug start without my debugging the application application is running so what I going to do is if I click my create I, I will get my page create okay now I have set of columns student name marks for number created it so once I click create 
my data want to save in my database so actually we have the method to move on my action so how to post my data so there is a two set of request is there one is http get and one is http post http get is actually used to get the result from the action controller here i want to do is to post my controller actually initially i am doing get method this is actually default it it gives a result http get it means get result so once i want once I click my create button it has to do option so what I am going to do is I just planning to create a method action result with the same name you can ask one questions why the same name the same name is actually I am using because of both method have the same set of functionality but the first method is doing HTTP get request second method is doing post method so how to differentiate the both I am just getting one attribute called HTTP see lot of uh, HTTP request actually this is one this is my post I will explain you what is this things HTTP options head delete so this is my post option okay now this method is a uh, post once it's post I want the parameter student with instant student okay this is my instant of students here what I'm going to do is I'll check if my model what I am pausing sorry actually my model state I'm checking on condition before I'm going to insert my thing I just want to check the condition model state is valid it means like that model set of records then do my process what is my process actually to insert the record into my table in the database so I have already the instance of my database db in that which table i want to insert is student dot add my student i have the strongly typed property student so i have all the variables in my students i'm passing this and finally i will save my record by using accept okay I just added this one I just want to do one more operation so could be like very useful that one I'm checking the conditions like save changes so that uh, I just made this changes whatever it will be saved and finally I ask here to return index view so that once my data is saved it will be returned to the index view that means index view actually it will retrieve all the data from the list that we already 
saw how to make in the Alexa format. So I just debug my application. Sorry. Just debug ping my application. Nope. Something I just. Start with the debugging. Yeah, I have my screen. It's loading actually. A little bit slow because my RAM is less. Actually, MVZ have like a bit more faster than other application. Okay, I mentored my student as can marks he scored 67. His phone number is one something like this and created that is 2016-09-09 and I submit my create oh, oops I am getting some issues like for each per item in some model it's not fetching the record some issue is happened so I want to check this what has actually okay instead of doing that I just go and check my condition some something is a mistake 